yeah, so this is the new patch for Rogue Tower. 1.05. So right-click movement, that sounds nice. UI scale slider, I like it. XP is now saved to prevent total XP loss on crash. I've never crashed in this game, which is pretty cool. This guy's a solo developer. And uh, yeah, has been significantly more reliable than some AAA games I've played in the past. Damage tracker now adds healing prevented by dots to the dot damage total. That'll be super cool to see, actually. I kind of hope that that's broken out into a separate column, but uh, I think probably not. Camera movement um, via some additional VFX, minor tower UI, added mana bolts 3, 4, and 5. So that'll be interesting. I think right now it's not worth getting mana bolts because you just have to invest so much gold into... Like, I think it's almost you have to buy one mana bank per per level one tower. It's it's something like that. Not maybe not quite, but you need almost if you're spamming towers like that, I think I think the mana bolts is not actually worth it for the um I'll I'll be curious to try that. I might try another ballista only run with the new mana bolts. So Tesla is getting balanced. It was it's super overpowered right now. If you if you haven't played Yeah, so it's increased base damage, um mana increase and then it, it's rate of fire goes down. And its upgrade costs increased. Yeah, that makes sense. It's better at the start, but you're gonna have to invest way more into scaling, and it's just it's not as good. So actually, no, it's um, it's it's actual even at the start, it's worse. Okay, because it got its uh, fire rate cut in half. So it, that is actually a huge nerf, even from the beginning. Um, oh no, no, no. Okay, so the base damage went from five to ten. Okay, so at the very beginning, it's actually still slightly better against everything except for shields and it's slightly worse against shields a lot better against armor uh, but it, the way it scales so it so its scaling got cut in half here and then it got cut in half here and you have to put more mana into it so that's like yeah a quarter as effective essentially okay flamethrower yeah fire rate decrease yeah on these aoe things i think the fire rate decrease is super important in terms of balancing and the upgrade costs increase, that makes sense as well. These AOE things that attack super fast just scale up super quickly. And and you know, you get your universities down, you're adding flat damage to these things that do damage in AOE super quickly, then they just scale. Poison. Um yeah, similar idea, rate decrease. I think poison's still gonna be pretty good. Shredder. Shredder I haven't used that much. Um. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. So your total mana cost per second is basically uh, the same. That's a good point, that's a good point. So Shredder, I I'm interested in using it because it, it did get nerfed, but not that much. I mean, 50% higher upgrade costs Realistically, if you're upgrading, you're like investing in a tower. Upgrade cost is 100% of your cost, so that's 50% higher costs effectively. Um, so that is that's like that's a decent nerf. That's nothing to sneeze at. Radar biplane accuracy increased slightly. Upgrade costs increase from three to four. Interesting. I would have not have guessed that because that kind of feels like a nerf. Maybe I didn't use the radar enough. I used them a little bit and I wasn't super impressed with them. It seemed like they did really good damage, but it just, by the time they flew back around again and you just kind of thought about, okay, well, if I average that over time, it's really not that much. Um, and then just, they're not super consistent, which, you know, I guess you, you know, you can do something where you build mines and maybe you don't need to be super consistent every level. But personally, I like to just go all in on damage, all in on killing stuff, and just try to never leak. Prestige gain from spare XP halved. Okay, interesting. I don't think that prestige can do anything yet, but it's getting nerfed. Uh, yes, it just bragging points without a function. Okay. Remove second and third. Oh, no. Okay, this is a huge just nerf overall to 
everyone. The quality of quantity ones were just a little bit insane. So that's that's fair. I think that overall this is going to be good for the game because there is there's some pretty easy ways to win, you know, and, and getting getting these quality over quantities were really part of that. So I'm interested to do a a three way again because I think it's going to be a lot harder. All plus one X damage type upgrades increase with level. Okay. I like that. I think that that is, um, that's interesting. So like the, the mana upgrade for tower, it'll start doing one mana. Then it'll do plus two plus three. So that's, that helps make up for, I think a lot of these things are, are really punishing, frankly. And that'll help, yeah, that'll help earlier on as well. Um, reduce mana cost of mana bolts. Okay, that's. I think that that's actually pretty important because I think the mana cost of mana bolts... Well, I'll be interested to see. That says mana bolts one. I don't know how that affects the rest of the mana bolts. But I do feel like the mana cost of mana bolts always made it not really worth getting. Even in, like, the Ballista only run. And it's like, uh, you got to invest cards into it. So I'm going to I'm going to check out the mana bolts for sure at some point in time. Hovering portals. So those are Okay, so these are the the very first guys, the very first spawners on 40. Um so fewer observers but more eyes. Uh yeah, I don't know. I have no idea about that to be honest. I think hit points and speed reduce slightly. I think that makes the game overall a little bit easier, but it's hard to say. Level 25 boss, uh, more move speed, 35 boss, move speed, more armor, now fires missiles. That's cool. Making the bosses harder. All hit points doubled, spawns more enemies. Okay, I like that. I like that uh, the bosses are getting harder. interesting yeah i can see i can see that like combined with the nerfs that this is these bosses like you know we're getting nerfs on our towers that were op we're getting uh buffs on those bosses yeah the observers spawn yeah so that's what i'm wondering i actually to be honest i didn't realize the hovering portals spawned eyes i thought they just spawned the observers and then the observers were what was creating the eyes i feel like the only time I've ever actually been like cared about level 40 is when I'm doing ballista only and then I don't actually watch the wave because I'm like so busy upgrading stuff. But I didn't realize the uh, portals actually spawned eyes. So that's good to know. Uh, and then this just looks like a bunch of fixes. Not too much interesting there I don't think. Some spelling. Demolish buttons. Okay, that's sick. I'm super excited for that. I wonder when... Did he say... Is it out? Um, let, me, uh, let me look on Steam there if I can see. Update queued. All right. Okay, I am going to exit Rogue Tower. I am going to update. I am very happy that I just did that run. Because I, I'm happy that we did the Ballista only before the, the patches came in. Because overall, to be honest, actually, I don't really think much changed about the Ballista only run. I think it's actually just a bit easier because it seems like the hovering portals are probably a little bit easier. Right? Does that make sense? The hovering portals seem easier depending... I mean, if they spawn like a billion eyes, then no. The bosses, who cares? So I'm probably, I'll probably try a ballista only run with the mana bolts at some point in time. But I think overall, actually, the ballistas are uh, are better off. 